for the past hour or so. Um, our first important thing today is to welcome three new uh, citizens to Australia. So, Carol, I'd like you to uh, hand over to you, and I think Adam might be going to help out. Yeah, good morning, fellow Aussies. Um, more further events. On behalf of the traditional custodians of this country, where we have the now taken place, the memorable people welcome you. I'd like to pay my respects to all our memorable elders, both past and present, and I extend that respect to other Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people at this gathering. The minister now welcomes the country as a means of acknowledging the traditional land of the Ngorobo people from this country, as well as acknowledging our elders past and present who live. It is seen as an acknowledgement from the Australian Aboriginal nations and the non-Aboriginal that this country and its Aboriginal people once occupied these lands in a traditional manner. We must never lose our identity and place within Australia's history. The welcome to country is also seen as an integral part of the reconciliation movement. I thank you and please enjoy the rest of the proceedings. I came 
upon the prison ship, bowed down by iron chains. I fought the land until the lash, waiting for the rains. I'm a settler, I'm as far as wife on a dry and barren run. A convict and a free man, I would keep Australia. I'm the daughter of a digger who has sought the mother low. The girl became a woman on a long and dusty road. I'm a child of the Depression. I saw the good times come. I'm a pushy, I'm a battler. I am a Congratulations to Lara and to Makara and to Candy, because I can call you Candy, can't I? Uh, Candy's name is actually. When you answer teacher for area, Kate said that she spoke with compassion, sincere feelings, and above all, you demonstrated an understanding of the tragedy. So I do pay tribute to the local government people as well as the World Fire Service, and not only just World Fire Service, but those people who fed and supported those people out in the service for, for so many months. Might I say how important Glen is, is to the Heritage Movement? Australian society is immeasurable, and like the Heritage Movement, which is dependent on the volunteers and individual owners who take pride in their local heritage. Our communities are stronger and more vibrant because of your efforts. Thank you all so much. You are the people who make Australia a wonderful, accepting country that it is. Thank you. Congratulations to all the nominees. You are amazing. And to all those, <laughs> to all those other amazing volunteers who weren't nominated. You're out there. <laughs> they are out there and it's your responsibility as Glen Ennis District and uh, Council 
It's your responsibility to nominate them and tell us about them. Okay? So start that off in your um, New Year's resolutions, late New Year's resolutions to gather. Um, Adam and Carol, I'd like for you to come forward, please, and present the... Um, I'm sorry, I've got that out of order, but that's all right. Um, can we do the environmental one first, please? Um, there, 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 sorry. I've just put my poor girl all out of, poor Bev, all out of uh, whack. And when you um, come to the extensive, again, they work in the area of raising awareness of sustainable agricultural and environmental related matters. And Peter Perrin, who unfortunately is not able to be with us today, she has taken her, what she's been nominated for, she has taken it been asked to take it to North Queensland. So I think that we might have lost her to our community. Peter has been nominated for her work at the high school creating an ecological garden and teaching her students the importance of recycling and reuse products. Peter sends her apologies. She is in North Queensland so she will share her program. Now the environmental champion for 2020 is the recipient is Carly Bolfinet. <laughs> Um, in the past 12 years, Kylie has taken Denmark from a small room to with two desks, squeeze into it, to where it is today. She has worked consistently to raise governance levels and skills, dramatically increasing membership, and Glenrad's ability to reach a wider community. Congratulations, Kylie, on your contribution to the environment and the community. And Malcolm's just uh, accepted that. <laughs> These two are The Big Water School of Arts Hall Trust, a small band of volunteers who work tirelessly at severe fire situations in the area. I'm by Chalabar Pinkett and Kendawana. They are on call 24-7 and uh, they are our local Highland heroes. They are... <laughs> probably say the same story for them. Um, they are local volunteers and have been attending severe fires in our area. This brigade has been particularly busy with fires over the past two years, also on call 24-7, and these men and women are Highland heroes, and we thank them for their efforts. Now, two brigades have been nominated, and uh, but I'd like to express his um, view on every, every fire... Um, of brigade in our area and thank them. They are Highland heroes and we salute them and I'd like you to uh, give them the applause they deserve. <laughs> and the recipient of the Community Organisation um, Award is the Deepwater School of Arts Hall Trust. <laughs> Apologies as well, but since we're um, um, before I give the microphone to Mary. I missed the community centre volunteers, so um, we'll begin. Prior to coming
me to go and then as Graham was an active member of, oh sorry, first of all, Bev Pryor and Graham Wilson, please, would you come up to do the, um, to uh, hand out the certificate. Who has been an official member of the Redderston Rural Fire Brigade since he was 12 years old. Pretty good. His grandma tells him, tells me the other day that Matthew used to sneak out of, sneak out of school so he did go and wash the fire trucks. So that was that was pretty dedicated at that age, wasn't it? A member of the Northern Tablelands training team over the past 18 months, Matthew has been kept busy with a large number of incidents across the Northern Tablelands area, 45 days in a row, I'm told. Highly trained firefighter and a team player and a long-term leader. He carries his duties out diligently, known to be competent, reliable, these duties often take him away from his business and during the fires at White Talabar, he uh, was on scene when the fire passed through and he persisted in protecting lives. Now, our judges had a bit of a problem with these two fellas. They couldn't make a clear decision. And so, guess what? They're both, both recipients of the award. Highland heroes, give them a big hand. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank my um, wife, which is um, behind every person who volunteers uh, for emergency services as a family um, that uh, picks up the pieces when we leave. Um, and they, they really need to be um, congratulated for their support. It's a bit strange here because I actually taught Matthew at high school. I'm in his emotion now. Um, we also have a couple of members in the rescue squad which I um, taught at high, at high school. So I think it's um, uh, pretty proud that I can see here and maybe you have had some influence um, on those people joining um, the organisations that they have. Um, Rescue is something not many people want to talk about, um, but obviously everyone wants the rescue squad to be there. I really regard this award as a team um, award. Um, there's really no um, place in rescue for uh, individuals. Um, all the training that we do, the upskilling that we do, um, means very little if we can't we're as a team and I take a lot of pride in uh, hopefully getting the rescue squad working as a team. Um, it's very, very much that way. Um, a little bit of history I suppose. A lot of people don't realise that uh, the rescue squad here, um, we are 24-7. We managed to get a truck mobile within about four minutes of the call out. Um, uh, all volunteers um, leaving our jobs and obviously those people who uh, support us in leaving their jobs uh, are, are vitally um, important to us as, as well. Rescue squads, um, we were affiliated with the VRA. Unfortunately, we've been considerably underfunded for years. Most VRA units are out there um, running sausage sizzles and that sort of stuff to uh, maintain the liability. This community owns everything that the rescue squad has um, and that's through donations that communities, uh, organisations have made. I won't name them because I'll probably end up missing someone but we've been one of the fortunate rescue squads have been able to maintain a, a manager of their I'd like to thank Adam um, 
the rescue of the VRA has just been awarded $18 million dollars, um, over three years. And I know a lot of that has come from um, some state parliamentarians uh, who have pushed pretty hard um, our work. So Adam, I know it's been part of that, so thank you Adam. Um, and that will certainly enable us to That will certainly enable us to um, maintain our ability to um, provide rescue services. Um, we're be much more efficient and for some squads, not ours, but certainly more and more efficient um, uh, for those. So again, thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Um, you deserve this as much as me. We're equal and I, I really appreciate the, um, the career that you have set for the Lady Minority Rule. Uh, we've sort of got the young and the old. Matthew's very happy for you. <laughs> And I'll just be out the end. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Brad. Um, I'm sort of we have what Brad said. We've had some volunteers. It's been a, a big season for all the RFS up here this year. Um, I sort of think of this more as a team award more than an individual one. I think everybody's had a big hard year and we've done a great job. Um, thanks very much. Definitely high end for those. Oh, the new journey, everybody. I'm going to use it often. The, um, when the judges were judging that um, the legacy service and, and all the the awards in fact, um, we, we couldn't award everybody, obviously, but uh, right across the board there are heroes out there all over our area so um, when I say good you know, Highland heroes I mean all of you because you all are and uh, uh, we appreciate all the work that you do. Now I've got to get my paper in order here or otherwise I'll get it all wrong. <laughs> I'm catching the half ton hard footed rabbit. Just let me warn you. Well, good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andy One. You might work that out later. Now, I. Excellent. Well, Dennis Examiner flying the flag <laughs> on the 26th of January. <laughs> Bitty going you. That's right. No drama. Guess you for a sec. Okay, well, the event continues. I'm on a battery warning. So I'll go and have a very quick look to see uh, what else we can catch up. YouTube. 